Vita, day 18, 19, 20. What's up everybody, it's Christopher and welcome to a three day combined video. I had to condense these videos together because I ran into some things over the last couple days and I didn't get to upload as I wanted to. So this isn't me being lazy, this is me keeping up with my daily schedule. So this is all three videos combined. This first segment, I'm actually gonna switch it up. Seven tips that Germans can benefit from while visiting the US. Number one is if you have it, bring a credit card. We know that you're used to a cash society, but in the US, they are kind of migrating from using cash all the time. And most of the establishments there do use credit cards. It's rare to find a place that does not accept credit cards. Now they will accept your cash. It's just that if you get to a point where you need a lot, say you have to pay for three or four things and it kind of racks up your bill, you don't want to be searching for an ATM because they're not so abundant in, in every part of the states. So it would be much easier just to whip out your credit card and take care of it. So number one is if you have a credit card, bring your credit card. It'll just make things easier. Number two, depending on where you're going in the States, say if you're going to New York, California, Florida, places like that, you can run into some confusion and you can kind of get lost. So bring your cell phone where you have some emergency contacts in case you get lost. Hopefully they're local and they'll help you get to where you're going or get from somewhere you don't want to be. It's not always an easy task to navigate through some of the busier cities back in the States. So you kind of want to have that emergency help in case you get lost or run into some other kind of bind. Just have your cell phone. Number three, and you'll hear this again, but bring your camera. It's great to be able to capture a few shots just to bring back with you so you can always say, hey, I've been in the States. See? Number four, since we're heading into the good weather, this is specific to like the summer. My number four is have a sweater or a light jacket with you because in most restaurants or any establishment there, when it's warm, they hit the AC. The air conditioning is pumped. And sometimes it can be a little too cool, dare I say. But when you're coming from such a contrast of very hot outside and then coming on the inside and it's just like blasted with cold air, it'll kind of make you uncomfortable and makes you want to leave. And you don't want to leave prematurely if you're enjoying yourself. Pack a light sweater or a jacket if you're going to a place that's like super hot. Number five, and you'll hear about this again as well. Bring a translation book. Now I know a lot of Germans can adjust because you're taught English and you speak it well. It still wouldn't hurt to have a translation book because sometimes the conversation can move on and you have little time to catch up and see what's going on. So it doesn't hurt to bring a translation book. Just have one. Number five is a little more advice than it is a tip. Research your area ahead of time. With as busy as a lot of tourist places get in the States, you don't want to be the person that doesn't know how to hail a cab or doesn't know how to get to a certain part of town that you're looking for, gets lost in a part of town that doesn't have anyone to help or assist. Research prior to you getting there. So know the city or town you're going to, know your options as far as transportation, know your options as far as where you can eat, all that stuff. Research it ahead of time. It could get a little overwhelming, which leads me to my number seven. As a German, be prepared to be overwhelmed. Now, what I mean by that is in the US, a lot of things are overdone. A lot of things are in abundance. You can find multiple almost everything because that, that's just how the society is. As opposed to here, when you decide that you wanna go eat, you know the restaurant is just there. It's going to be more like, uh, bow, bow, bow. Now I say this specifically for you as a German because I know you guys are used to just knowing what it is you wanna do. It's right there and it's specific. In the States, it's just abundance. There's a lot of everything. Be prepared to be overwhelmed. Just make decisions according to how you feel as opposed to what all your options are. Block some stuff out if you have to. Don't become unnerved because of the abundance of things. And that is seven tips that Germans can use when visiting the US. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Welcome everybody to the second segment of this three day combo video. And it's time for more video scavenger trivia. But first, let me announce what the prize is going to be in another week when this comes to an end. What I have is a 50 euro Amazon gift card. This will be given to the winner to use however they see fit at amazon.de. If the winner should happen to be in the States, and I'm sorry, this is exclusive to either a German or a US winner. If the winner just happens to be in the States, you will be given a digital 
gift card for the same amount to spend at amazon.com. After the winner is selected, I will give the winner my email address. You will send me your contact and I will either send you the digital code or send you a screenshot of the code for this. Either way, you walk away with the gift card given by yours truly as a thank you for participating in my monthly games during a Vita. So good luck to whoever walks away with those. If you got any questions, hit me up. Now on to the third chance to win for some lucky person out there. This is another three part question. You either have to be familiar with the videos or you can go find the video. I will link them below. I will also put them in the cards here. Plenty of ways to find the answers. Here we go. Remember, three questions. Question number one. In my Germany Fund recycling video, I held up my ticket for all my recycles. How much did I get back on that ticket? Question number two. In my American Food, the German Way video, what two things, what two items did I say that I was actually going to the store for? Third question, in my Germany street photography video, what is the number on the green door that slammed behind me in the parking garage? So that's three questions. I'll put them on the screen again right here so that you can write them down or do whatever you gotta do. And good luck to you all. Hopefully you're familiar with the videos and I'll get a quick answer. And that's gonna do it for this second segment and um, talk to you tomorrow. But wait, it's not over. I have a third part to this three day combined video. And this one's going to be seven tips for tourists visiting Germany. Now, the first thing I wanna say is, number one, you definitely want to download the Deutsche Bahn app. This app will come in handy for you so well, especially if you plan on taking public transportation, which you should. The app gives you all kinds of schedules and which train to catch and which one will get you from point A to point B the fastest and the most convenient. It's very accurate. And from my experience, it's a system that will not let you down. You should have have no problems getting around Germany. Number two for tourists visiting Germany, make sure you bring cash. You definitely want to have cash when you visit Germany because they're very much still a cash society. And in a lot of ways, this is good. So now let me tell you, you don't want to be that unsuspecting person that goes to get a bunch of things, heads to the front and want to pay for your stuff. And then you discover that they don't have a credit card machine. So now you look silly with a line of people behind you not knowing what you're gonna do, okay? You got a language barrier to worry about and now the embarrassment is just piling up on you. Carry cash. Now, I'm not saying lots of it, but carry enough cash. Make sure you know what you're doing and how much it's gonna cost. That way you can plan for it prior to getting there. Number three, and I don't think I need to say this, but make sure you bring your camera when you're traveling Germany. Germany is beautiful. You do not wanna leave Germany without taking some of it back with you bring your camera. Number four, this isn't really necessary, but in my experience, I found it to be helpful. Bring a small translation book. Doesn't have to be like a huge dictionary, but something to give you the get by necessities translations that you might need that'll help get you through your small visit. It doesn't take much. Just knowing how to say thank you or where is this, or where's that, or how do I get to, please. Just the simple courtesies like that will actually help you while you're touristing through Germany. Number five, I want to kick this down to people who haven't been here. Be aware of bike lanes and walk lanes. You don't want to be in the bike lane when someone's coming up behind you and not know what to do. Usually they ding ding their bell prior to getting to you, but you do still kind of look like the person that's disregarding how they do things by walking in the bike lane. So just be aware of bike lanes when you're in Germany. There's a lot of them. Watch out for them. Number six, while you're in the hotels and things, it may come as a surprise that the outlets aren't something you're used to. Now here in Europe, they use a 240 volt system. If you try to plug something in that isn't either dual voltage or 220 to 240 volts, you're gonna blow that thing up because as we know, the US uses a 110 to 120 volt system. Common sense tells you that you don't need to be overloading your device by plugging it in somewhere it doesn't belong. So if it is dual voltage, invest in some adapters. If it's only 120, you can't use it. So be aware of that because if you bust up something that means a lot to you, it just might ruin your holiday. We don't want that. And lastly, for those of you that are sociable and you end up making friends and you want to go out to bars or something like that, when you go to cheers a drink or prost as it's said here, always make sure you make eye contact when you do so. It's a common courtesy and something that they do here. It's not something that goes against any kind of laws or anything like that, but it says a lot about you if you're able to at least do something so small, but so commonly interlooped into this society. It says a lot about you. So cheers or prost, make eye contact while doing so. And that is it. That is seven things tourists should know while visiting Germany. That's also the third segment to this three day combined video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.